Hi, and welcome to this Blender tutorial where we would like to make a bracelet. I would like to show you some nice tricks there are in Blender uh, to make a bracelet and all the nice stuff you can do with it. To start with, uh, let's take a curve, uh, a NURBS circle preferably, and make that arm size, say 60 millimeters. So this is 2, so I scale it up 30. I'm sorry, I will put on my screencast keys. Um, so here we have the circle, which is uh, the base shape. And now we have to make a profile. So we start with a cube. This cube, we will add it a little. Uh, we make it higher, so scale it to the Z axis. Let's say it will be two centimeters. Standard cube is two millimeters, so that's scaling up 10. And let's say two millimeters thick is fine. Okay, so that's good. I will now delete the faces in the X direction. So we have a hollow cross section. I think this is too big actually. How big is this? I can see this here in my properties panel. It is two centimeters. Okay, so we have to do with it. Mm. What I will do now is um, to make an array modifier on this. Modifier, array. And the length of this modifier will be fit curve. And the curve is the NURBS circle. Now you see that the length of the array has exactly the same length as the circle. Now we will apply it on the circle. And for that it is very important that all scales are applied and uh, they have the same center so don't move anything just leave it all there in the in the center uh, I go here I select the curve modifier where is it here and I apply that to the NURBS circle now you see it nicely follows the curve and if I select the curve and edit, edit the curve, you will see it nicely follows the curve. So this is pretty good. So you can make all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, don't mind too much the gap here. There will always be some gap and we can fix it later as soon as we are uh, satisfied. So I'll leave it here now. I'm not satisfied with the height. So I will change that, make it lower. And I think I will also make some sections here to give it some profile. So, like that. If I now go back, then I see it's all nice. But it's a bit edgy. You might like it, but you also might like it smooth. So, I say subdivision surface. And I make it two for now, which doesn't put too much pressure on my computer. And again, here we can all play with the shape so if we select the, the circle you can also select it here go into edit mode you see you can still play with it so if you now want to do some irregular things for example uh, at some points I just want to make it thicker excuse me my fantastic design it's just showing what is possible and you're completely free to make something more beautiful than I am making right now um, so that means that we would have to apply the uh, array modifier because if we now go into edit mode we only have our first segment and we cannot make any differences in the other segments so I go to apply and if I now go back to edit mode I see I can do all kinds of other stuff here. For example, I can make it thicker here. Scale it in the Y. And I do the same here. S uh, sorry, scale in the Y direction, like that. Um, try to keep the, uh, the ends the same so they kind of nicely connect. So here, hypothetically, if this is uh, what I want, then I also apply the curve modifier and then I only need to connect the open ends 
uh, with Alt pressed I and Shift pressed for the second one. I select these two and with the W I go to bridge two edge loops and that nicely closes it off. And here is my bracelet. Uh, so it's pretty powerful. I can still uh, change the resolution uh, so it's more fine, also puts more load on your computer. But this is should be printable. I can check that. Are there any open loops with shift Control alt m Yes, there are. So I select everything, W, remove doubles, many removed, nothing left anymore. And then with Control n I put all the normals outside. So this can go to the printer right away and you have your bracelet finished. Good luck with creating your own one.